and that 25,500 mark for the Sensex. Where do we go from here? What does 2016 hold? Or for that matter, what should we expect in terms of global queues? Vibhav Kapoor of ILNFS joins us as our market master now. Uh, good morning, Vibhav. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, good well, morning. First, first things first, uh, uh, as an Indian investor, now what do you look forward to from the Fed? Will it be a minor irritant? Uh, will it hold anything positive at all for 2016? I think for the time being, the uh, Fed the issue is sort of over. Uh, I expect that uh, while the Fed will increase rates next year, it, they will be gradual as they promised. Uh, and I think the next hike will not happen before March. So for the time being, it's out of the way. And I think the markets uh, globally will now find their own uh, sort of uh, direction and levels based on their own fundamentals. Okay, what about the markets locally? What's the prognosis here? Well, today I think, you know, uh, I was actually expecting a, a sort of a bigger uh, reaction to the uh, Fed uh, than what's happened locally. Uh, most of the other markets are in fact quite strong and uh, we've not been able to do much. It could partly be due to the fact that maybe the market is now realizing that the GST is not going to happen in this mm -hmm. parliament session. Um, so I think uh, basically we are in the process of forming a bottom, uh, but that bottom could be 75-50 which we formed earlier, a double bottom, or maybe it could be another 100-200 points below that. Uh, but over the next uh, two to three months, I would expect this uh, bottoming formation to happen and uh, uh, you know the market to be largely range bound uh, and hopefully after that sometime in 2016 uh, you should see the uptrend resuming uh, and uh, 2016 should definitely be a better year than 2015. Okay, so earnings wise you expect uh, an improvement. What What is the expectation uh, on FY17 earnings for that matter? Well, for the Nifty, you know, I think uh, we are expecting about 6% uh, earnings growth this year. Mm. Uh, that's in FI 16 mm. and about 15 percent next year uh, which puts you roughly at about 500 uh, for uh, FI 17 mm. as far as the nifty EPS is concerned mm. uh, and if you have a P of say 15 on that which is the average P mm. uh, you come to about 7500 so I think as of course the only issue here is that I think uh, the market is still uh, expecting a higher growth rate than what we are projecting and therefore there could be still some downgrades to happen. Uh, so all in all I think somewhere between 73, 75, 7600 the bottom the market should bottom out uh, but you would still need maybe a couple of months after that for it to sort of uh, consolidate there uh, before moving up. Actually, it is quite a disappointing day. I mean, as we speak, the Sensex and the Nifty have actually moved into the red at a time when most Asian markets are much higher. So just taking that point forward, Vibhav, um, is there a risk of more money rushing out of emerging markets like India and into developed markets like the US purely because things are improving in the US and we don't seem to be having any uh, you know, macro improvement, especially in earnings? Yeah, to some extent that is true, but as I said, I think that at least the first part of that is over. We have seen money moving out, uh, and the Fed has very clearly stated that uh, the rate cycle is going to be very gradual, and it's not going to be very high. Uh, so some, yeah, there will be some negativity on account of that, you know, which means that FII inflows may not be as strong uh, as they have been otherwise. Uh, but having said that, I think, um, if you look at the valuations and you look at the fact that uh, hopefully earnings growth should revive next year, uh, you should see the, bottom, the market bottoming out somewhere in the range I've described. Okay, I take your range and your uh, earnings growth of 15, but what may be the leaders next uh, year? Uh, obviously, the resource stocks uh, are still very beleaguered. So, uh, where will the outperformance come? Yeah, Lata, that's a good point because even uh, I find it very difficult to see where the big leaders will be because uh, there's nothing new uh, or there's no new sector which is going to really uh, develop leadership. It doesn't seem likely. So it's the same old uh, sectors which will have to take up leadership. 
because if we are assuming that there is going to be a 15-16% earnings growth next year, that means the economy will also start to revive. Mm. Uh, and therefore, uh, you have to go back to the same sectors, you have to go back to private sector banks, maybe PSUs if they, uh, PSU banks if they go down further, automobiles, uh, uh, and you know, the, the economy related sectors, uh, which, uh, which should do well. Okay. Uh, well, uh, would mid-cap outperformance continue, you think? Uh, well, beyond the point, no, because, uh, you know, a lot of this uh, mid-caps, uh, the valuation gap between the mid-caps and the large caps is uh, really reduced a lot. Of course, uh, the mid-caps largely depend on whether you get continue to get inflows of domestic money, because it's the domestic mutual funds who really uh, buy those stocks. Uh, but. Uh, beyond the level, I don't think that would happen. How do you treat some of these auto stocks, Vibhav? Uh, you know, most of them are coming in for some heat. m and because of the diesel ban. Maruti because of how highly it's valued. Tata Motors because of, you know, GLR issues, etc. Uh, do you use this as an opportunity to buy or do you stay away? Uh, well, uh, you know, I think valuations are important. So wherever you find that valuations are very expensive, even after taking a growth for next year, I wouldn't be looking at those stocks, but where valuations are reasonable and you see a reasonable growth happening, maybe two-wheelers, if not the four-wheelers, uh, because they haven't done anything and once rural growth picks up next year, uh, maybe those ones uh, could outperform. All right, uh, Vibhav Kapoor, we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for joining us with your thoughts on both the Indian macros, the earnings picture, as well as the sectors that one can reasonably back uh, uh, in this situation. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a great 2016 as well. Uh, the markets, uh, meanwhile, have actually given up even more of their strength, uh, actually all their strength. Mm. The last one hour, uh, we started off with that uh, proud 7,800 uh, tick and a tick even above that, but uh, the Nifty has given up 50 points almost from the day's high. The sensitive